Hi. A rare talking video. I've been talking to various people about how to do ratcheting on the easel sequencer and the fact is although you can kind of do it on a bare easel it's pretty difficult to set up. It takes a long time and it's not very good when you've done it. Uh, there's a link in the in the notes to a crappy phone video of me doing just that. But if you want to do ratcheting on the sequencer then this is a really good way to do it and it's using the 208 toolbox. I haven't got the VST but I'm fairly sure that it will work the same on the VST if you use the left hand modulation source uh, to fill in for the toolbox. The principle is pretty straightforward. We're using the pulsar to trigger the envelope generator but the tool with the toolbox you can set the envelope generator up to self loop which is fine you, you can do that straight on the easel without that. The difference with the, pull with the toolbox is you can add a delay at the end of the cycle. So it, you, you get your attack, your sustain, your decay, and then you get a, a, a delay before the next cycle starts. So what I'm going to do is set up the, uh, the envelope to pulse at a different frequency to the pulser. And so what happens is you get them beating against each other. And if you time it right, you get a kind of pseudo ratcheting effect. So this is the um, this is the sequence with just the bare easel without any effects going on from the toolbox. And then I'll switch the envelope into self looping mode. If you want to make it even more interesting, we can change the uh, sequence lengths randomly. Add some delay. And the point is when you've done this, you can actually riff over it using either the modulation oscillator, or in my case, both the modulation oscillator and the VCS3 card. And it sounds like this.